Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from Interest.co.nz and welcome to a special report brought to you in association with ASB. Today we want to have a look at the politics of global trade negotiations and come up with a slightly challenging view. I think it's great that America has decided to put on hold its discussions for a free trade deal with New Zealand, but not for the reasons you might think. Barack Obama has signalled that the free trade talks with New Zealand and Brunei, Chile, Singapore are on hold for the foreseeable future, while he appoints a trade representative and while he sorts out whether or not to do more of these free trade deals. New Zealanders seem to ignore the fact that Barack Obama spoke aggressively during his election campaign against free trade deals. We seem to think it would just go away after the election and he'd fall into line with the rest of Washington. Well, that's not the case. And actually, this is a good thing. We shouldn't be trying to do these free trade deals on a bilateral basis with people like America. Because frankly, we'll get done over every time. We should focus on the multilateral World Trade Organization moves to free up trade, the so-called Doha Round, because that will be much fairer and much better for us in the long run. Let me explain. But one of the reasons people go for free trade deals with America is that they think they can get access to American markets and this will be great for export returns. And there's a few examples of countries have tried to do this. Vietnam, for example, you wouldn't believe it, they fought a couple of wars with America and actually got a free trade deal before New Zealand and Australia. But it turned out as soon as Vietnam tried to export things to America and some American competitors didn't like this, they managed to push through rules through Congress. That meant Vietnamese exporters couldn't export to America anymore. That's because the lobby groups in Washington are incredibly powerful. You wouldn't believe this, but lobby groups spent $3.2 billion in Washington in the last year alone just getting their points of view across. And if you look at how much money the dairy industry, the pharmaceuticals industry, and Hollywood, so the movie and music industry, spend in Washington, it is alarming. And that's something New Zealand should be very wary of when it enters into a free trade deal with America. Because we might find out we actually get hurt by this. That, for example, pharmaceutical lobbies will campaign to kill off Pharmac. Quite possible. They tried it with the Australians. We could have the music and movie industries campaign very hard to shut down ISPs and others who allow uh, the theft and theory of pirated material. We could also see the dairy industry in America campaign to shut out Fonterra completely. That's what was their stated aim when they heard that New Zealand was negotiating a free trade deal with America. Essentially, if New Zealand tries, tries to negotiate a free trade deal with America, we will get done over by a big bully that preaches free trade but does absolutely the opposite. So we should go for a World Trade Organization round, the Doha round, and thank our lucky stars that Barack Obama isn't really a free trader. I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz. That was a special report brought to you in association with ASB. Yeah.